What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we're going to show you five ways to rig up a craw. So today we're going to show you five different ways that you guys can rig up a craw. Craws are one of my go-tos when it comes to bass fishing, but honestly they're just a staple in bass fishing. They've been around for forever and uh, they get used a ton and they really do catch fish. So let's show you guys five ways to rig these things up, starting with probably one of the more popular being the Texas rig. We're going to grab a craw and we're going to show you guys how to rig this guy up Texas rig. Texas rig is a very, very popular way to fish a craw as well as some other baits, but if you've never done it before, we're gonna do it right now. So I'm taking this guy right here. This is a saw craw by 10,000 fish. I like to use this guy a lot. And uh, I'm actually gonna fish it with an EWG hook. For those of you who don't know what an EWG is, it stands for extra wide gap hook. Any kind of craw that has a slimmer body, you can definitely use like a straight hook with that as well. but. I like to use an EWG, it's a personal preference. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our EWG and we're gonna flip it upside down. We're gonna take it, we're gonna run it through the tip of the bait about a centimeter. Once we do that, we're gonna run it all the way up to the top of the hook and then we're gonna take that hook and turn it around backwards. From there, what we're going to do is we're gonna stick the tip of that hook just through the bait so it is flush and uh, sits on that hook perfectly. Now, I know I did that kind of fast. Um, I'm just showing you guys rigs here today, but if you want an in-depth tutorial on Texas rigging, then hit the link in the description below because we have a full video on how to Texas rig. But with that being said, this is the first way that I like to rig a craw. Just straight up Texas rig, take a bullet weight and throw it right on top of that hook and you guys have yourself an awesome bait for fishing in the springtime i like throwing this just as is even in the summer when it gets really really hot and those fish get finicky anytime that i'm not throwing a bass jig i like to pick up just a flat texas rig craw all right so the second way we're going to rig up the craw is going to be on a shaky head now this is more of a finesse approach but i actually love fishing craws like this especially when i am really trying to fish the bottom with a light presentation you guys are just going to take a shaky head hook like i have right here what we're going to do is we're just going to twist that craw onto that spring that spring is going to hold that bait in place and we're just going to keep twisting until the bottom of that bait is almost flush with the top of the jig head then what we're going to do is we're going to tuck the front of that hook just through the bait enough to get a little bit of hook exposure. That bait should sit perfectly on that hook. And uh, this is a great way, whenever I'm fishing like a dam at a lake or I'm fishing a lot of rocks, this is a really great way to get on a good bite. Another way to rig up just a plain craw is by using a punching rig. Right here I got a spool of 50 pound braid. I kind of just have like a mock-up of a punching rig already set here just because if I were to bring a rod in here, it'll probably hit the ceiling. But with that being said, if you guys don't know how to set up a punching rig like I have right here, you can also hit the link in the description below because we have a full video on setting up a punching rig. But with that being said, I have the punching rig set up here already. All I'm gonna do is add my craw. So just like a Texas rig, very similar, what we're going to do is we're gonna take the tip of that hook, run it through the bait like a centimeter, and then run that bait all the way up to the top of the hook. We're gonna twist that hook around and just hide the tip of that hook in the bait so that it sits straight on the hook. Now, typically with a punching rig, you don't really wanna expose that hook. Some people do, even sometimes I do, honestly, but when you're fishing the really, really heavy stuff, you don't gotta worry about the exposure on that hook because when you yam that hook, it will go through that bait into the fish's mouth. So as you guys can see right here, we have it set up on a punching rig. A punching rig like this is a great way to get on a good bass bite in the dog days of summer. You know, that really, really heavy cover or those really, really thick weed mats, those bass love to sit underneath them. It's a lot cooler there and uh, it's a great way for them to find cover in the summer. So those are three ways that you guys can rig up just a plain crawl on a hook. But there are two more ways that people often fish craws. The first one being on a bass jig. So to rig up a craw on a bass jig, oftentimes what you're going to do is you're gonna take a craw and you're gonna cut a piece off. So from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that little piece of craw and you're just gonna thread it onto that hook the best that you can, slide it all the way up, and then just let it hang. 
It's a great way to beef up your presentation with fishing a bass jig. Honestly, bass jigs kind of look naked without a trailer on there. So Craws are probably one of the more popular trailers to tip on a bass jig. And then we have the vibrating jig or a chatterbait. A lot of people like to fish craws or paddle tails, but craws seem to be one of the go-tos when it comes to fishing chatterbaits. You're gonna do the same thing as the bass jig. You're just gonna rip a little piece off the top of this craw, and then you're gonna do just like we did before, run it all the way up that hook, boom. There you guys go. You got an awesome rigged up chatterbait right there. Those claws are gonna give it a little more action. Being able to have more movement, more vibration behind a bait that's constantly moving through the water column is a great way to get on a bass bite. Bass just get fired up when it comes to seeing something like a chatterbait roll through the water. Those claws will go like this as you reel it. So there's five ways you guys can rig up a craw. I love fishing craws. They are a great way to get on a good bass bite pretty much any time of the year. And I don't think, I really don't think you're ever gonna go wrong with one, to be honest with that. I think it's one of those go-to baits that you can rig up different ways and you will always catch fish. So leave a comment down below if there's anything I missed that you guys wanna share with us. We're always open to comments in the comment section. Other than that, do me a favor, drop a like and hit that subscribe button, guys. There's a ton of videos here on this channel where you guys can learn how to get better at fishing or maybe just learn something you didn't know before. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.